Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we are getting started with one of the most awaited series on the channel which is DevSecOps Mega Project series. The reason that I am keeping this as a series is because we have to cover so many things from scratch. For example we have to understand very clearly how to create and manage repo, how many branches we should be having, how many like how to set up the feature branches from where we have to set up, then we are going to see how to manage PRs, then we are going to see like how we can perform deployment to different environments, how we can perform promotion of deployment from one environment to another environment, all those things will be covered in this series. The only request that I have from you is that make sure to follow the series properly and the day I upload a video make sure to implement the same thing on the same day so that you can learn and understand everything with the, with the proper pace and trust me I can guarantee once you complete this whole series you'll be having a very good knowledge of DevSecOps projects and you'll be able to explain any kind of project in your own interviews so make sure to watch the whole series now with that being said let's get started so then before we get started make sure to check out the channel if you haven't subscribed make sure to do because you'll be able to find tons of amazing hands-on videos on this channel also team batch 10 of DevSecOps and Cloud DevOps has been started if you want to enroll you can enroll immediate access to 120 plus hours of content will be there plus a dedicated discord server for doubt issues plus you'll be able to re get your resume reviewed one, uh, one to one with me and if you get like if any interviews get scheduled for you you can connect to me for guidance on that as well right so yeah make sure to check it out and uh, one more thing team on this batch we are having 40 plus projects so make sure to check that out now we can get started with understanding what exactly will be there in our upcoming series so team now we are going to see what exactly we are the things that we are going to cover in the upcoming series and trust me team once you complete this whole series you'll be able to answer project related questions very easily you'll be able, able to explain your project also very easily right so yeah now let's get started so first of all this is going to be a multi-tier project with node.js and mysql db the reason that i'm keeping multi-tier project so that we can understand how exactly we have to connect our database to our project so i have multiple kind of project but i'm choosing this because java i have already covered and so now i'm doing node.js and later on we'll be starting with different project right now talking about episode one what exactly we are going to cover in episode one or day one so first we are going to understand the workflow workflow means what workflow i'm talking about so i'm talking about this specific workflow that you are seeing here this is the workflow i'm talking about we are going to understand what exactly is the workflow so that you can very you'll be able to understand how exactly we can get started right in workflow uh, in first episode we are going to understand workflow we are going to understand the architecture of project right what are the things that we need to know about project as a DevOps engineer? For example, one of the most important thing that you should be knowing about is the dependency file, where exactly it is and how you can manage it. So that we are going to understand. Okay. So then we are going to understand the tech stack that we are going to be using, that we are going to understand and why each specific tool that we are using, that also we are going to understand you why we have to use this and not the other one. Okay. Then we are going to understand about how many environment we are going to be working with, right? All those things will be in the episode one. So make sure to watch that. Coming to episode two, where we have to understand the local workflow. Now, see, previously we understood the workflow. This is going to be a general that is going to happen through the whole project. But this is going to be a local workflow because generally when project comes directly, we are do not deploy to dev environment own event. Because first, it's going to be built and deployed locally by developers. So how that happens, that we need to understand. Okay. And why this needs to be done, that also we are going to understand. So locally, we are going to understand the structure. And then we are going to build the application locally. And then we are going to run it. Okay. So while you do local run, you'll be able to understand very easily about the structure. How exactly it's working. So that we'll be able to see. Plus, in the episode 2, we are also going to focus on two very useful security tools these will be git leaks and trivi okay we'll be explaining in detail why exactly we need to have and why we need to have must have these two because these are very useful tools okay comes the third part third episode which is another very useful episode where we are going to understand how we can set up the repo how many branches we need to have right then how we need to perform pr from where to where merging is going to happen like uh feature branches when we have to create who is going to create who is going to manage that all those things will be covered here okay and we are going to cover we are going to be covering this 
with demo so that we can understand in real time how exactly it happens how exactly whole branching thing needs to happen and then we are going to uh, understand the branching strategy now one thing i'll tell you like on google on youtube lots of branching strategies you might have seen but those are the general branching strategy that is available everywhere but in real time what exactly we have to use that i'm going to explain so i'm going to be explaining the real one that one of the branching strategy that we actually used in my company so that you can understand the real one okay i'm not talking about the general one the real one that we are going to understand coming to episode 4 where we are going to set up the complete infra infra we are going to set up the eks we are going to set up all the required tools most of the tools we are going to set up inside eks itself okay some tools will be setting up locally some tools we are going to set up on inside eks that also we are going to understand very clearly ki why we need to set up this tool inside eks and why we are not setting up this tool inside eks like that okay we are going to set up our docker registry basically we are going to prepare the whole thing for build and deployment of our application okay comes the episode 5 where we are going to understand how to write the multi stage docker file for our application okay that we are going to write then we are going to understand how to write the ci pipeline using jenkins file now even if you are very new with uh, jenkins file and you do not have any knowledge on groovy script no problem you will be taught from scratch but only thing you have to do is follow the tutorials properly and practice well okay in ci pipeline we are going to understand how to integrate the sas tools from security point of view and what other security tools that we can include other than sas in ci pipeline that we are going to be understanding and then we are going to be understanding uh, we are going to be uh, build, uh, like deploying the application through docker container this is temporary just understand this is temporary because still because we have to test right if i have written the docker file is it working right or not so in this phase in episode 5 we are going to do the, this only okay coming to next next comes the another very useful part where we have to perform the ci cd but for the lower environment when we talk about lower environment what environments do we have we have do we have qa we have ppd these are lower environments so how do we deploy the application to these lower environments what is the role of feature branches how do we merge and how do we automate this whole process for this we will be learning here okay and also understand we will be using r back inside eks cluster so that also is very important for understanding like to minimize the access level on the uh, like deployments so that not everyone is having access right comes the next part where we are going to deploy the application in actual prod okay how do we promote the application deployment from lower environment to higher environment that we are going to see again everything that i try cover in each section it will be from scratch okay that will be there then we are going to see how we can set up manual approvals how we can automate it if required both of them we are going to see we are also going to see the rollback strategy if anything goes wrong in the latest version of our application how do we roll back so that also we are going to see comes the next episode which is another very useful episode is monitoring now monitoring we are going to perform and best part is that we are going to set up everything inside eks cluster so once we set up prometheus and grafana then we should be able to monitor our application pods and we can see how exactly it's working okay that we can see all these metrics that you see we will be able to see uh, inside our monitoring tech stack so that also we are going to do comes the next part where we have centralized logging with elk stack so we are going to perform logging also using elk stack again as a devops engineer just monitoring the application health is not very useful we should be able to monitor the logs of the application also so that it is much easier for us as a devops engineer to debug if anything goes wrong so that also we are going to see using elk stack comes the next part and with this will be the last uh, last video on the series where you'll be given an opportunity to do open source contribution everyone can do that but again you have to be very useful i'll be i'll be explaining in detail what exactly you have to do you can raise pr and merge your uh, like changes so again this will be uh, last will be open source contribution plus we are also going to summarize everything 
whatever we learn we are going to summarize everything and we can discuss in detail okay this is what we have learned this is this has been so useful so and so we are going to see that okay talking about for whom this series is there this is from for anyone who is want to get started for anyone who is already working but do not have the real act like real uh, work experience in devops so for both of them so you can consider very easily that this is going to be for beginner to advanced okay so this is going to be that and again team once you complete the whole series trust me you will be having more than enough knowledge so that you will be able to uh, uh, explain any project in your interviews okay very easily whatever things happen in real time those are the only things that we are going to cover we are see obviously you might have seen there are tons of already videos available on youtube but not every video is actually real time i said na ki see for example when we talk about branching strategy you might have seen every work okay we have dev we have qa we have ppd we have prod and we have dr right and everyone shows ki this so and so right but in reality do every company use this right no there are many other formats also of branching which we need to understand so i'm going to be explaining one of the branching strategy that i actually used in my company so this will be completely real time and this will be much easier for you to explain also in interviews right so yeah all those things will be covered from your side the only thing that i would request ki follow the series properly and just keep supporting me so that i can continue this series and once this series is done once we have like done a very good job and most of the people have learned good things i can start with another series similar kind of series the real time one okay so yeah team uh, give this video a like and as soon as we reach the like to 200 immediately i will release the episode one okay